Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some basic stuff about SOPs. I also created videos about AWS KMS and managing secrets in GitLab slash Git. I hope that you will find some useful stuff here. SOPs is useful when you want to encrypt your data and keep it somewhere securely. Why it's so secure? Because it uses envelope encryption. This way, you can keep your encrypted data and encrypted data key, which is needed to decrypt your data, in the same file. So, when everything is encrypted, you can store it anywhere. For example, in your Git repository. So, how it works. SOAPS generates a data key, and this data key is used to encrypt and decrypt your data. So, how then is your data key encrypted? By your KMS or PGP master key, uh, or both of them, or even more. Uh, SOPS supports AWS KMS, GCP KMS, Azure Key Vault, HashiCorp Vault, and PGP. As you can see, SOPS only touches your data key and your data. Uh, with your master or wrapping key, uh, you can encrypt and decrypt your data key. By default, you can encrypt and decrypt your data key by each master key. For example, you can have 10 master keys and encrypt your data key by each of them. You can use key groups if you want to be more secure. SOPS uses uh, Shamir's secret sharing algorithm. Uh, under the hood to split the data key. Using key groups, SOPS splits data key into parts. Each key group encrypts and decrypts only a part of data key. So what's going on here? There are three key groups. Each of them encrypts and decrypts only a part of data key. In order to decrypt a file, you must decrypt data key firstly and each key group can decrypt uh, only a part of uh, only a part of it so to decrypt the data key you have to decrypt all the parts by default and then merge them uh, it's not exactly merging but you get the idea each master key in key group can decrypt a part of the data key so in this example, in key group one, you need to have access to only one of the master keys to decrypt this part of data key. Uh, the same is for another key groups. You only need one master key within each key group to decrypt this uh, part of data key. You can also create five key groups and set threshold to three. Uh, this way you only need access to any three key groups to decrypt a file. Key groups are optional and in most cases you don't need to use them. If you think that your data key leaked, you can renew your data key. It's also a good practice to do that on a regular basis. SOPS will create a new data key and encrypt data with this new data key. You just need to type sops-rsecrets.yaml. Okay, I think that you understand basics. Now let's see some examples. In the first example, I'm going to use my PGP key. I'm going to add my fingerprint from PGP key uh, to dot .sops .yaml file. Uh, this way I tell SOPS that I want to encrypt and decrypt the data key with this master key. Now I'm going to create example.yaml file with secret data. Here is uh, my secret. Let's see the content of the encrypted file. So SOPS encrypted the data key with my PGP public key and data in the file has been encrypted by the data key. 
only someone who has access to my PGP private key can decrypt the data key. And then using this data key, the data can be decrypted. In the second example, I'm going to use two PGP keys. Let's say that I'm working with someone and I have access to their public key. I can add another fingerprint to .sobs.yaml file. So this way I tell SOPS that I want to encrypt my data key by these two PGP public keys. So let's add some secret data. Save the file. And let's see the content, the content of the file. Here is our encrypted data. And here uh, is information about um, master keys. Using two PGP keys, the same data key is encrypted two times separately. Once by the public key of my colleague and once by mine. Thus, there are two encrypted data keys. To decrypt the file, I only need my private key. The same way if my colleague needs to decrypt the file, they only need their private key. In this way, if I die or lose my private key, my colleague still will be able to decrypt the file. So it's always a good idea to encrypt your data key with more master keys than one. In the third example, I am going to show you key groups. There will be three key groups with one master key in each of them. Let's say that we have three developers and to decrypt the file, we need at least two of them. I can set threshold to two. By default, it, will, it would be three. So in order to decrypt data key, uh, we need at least two different developers. I assume that each developer has access to only his private key. And here is our third example. Here is the threshold set to two. And here are key groups with master key in each key group. Let's create a secret file. Let's create the secret content. Save the file and let's see the content of the encrypted file. Here is our encrypted data. And here is our threshold and information about key groups. So in each key group, there is a different master key. I mean, information about fingerprint. In this way, in order to decrypt the file, there always must meet at least two developers. So it might be useful when you have something very, very secret. Uh, there is a limit for 256 uh, key groups. Okay, so I have the encrypted file. I can type SOPS example dash secret.yaml uh, and see the content but what if I want to use it in my scripts and I need to access to a specific key for example password for redis so let's say that I want to get this password and put it to an environment variable how can I do that firstly I have to tell SOPS that I want to decrypt the file by decrypt flag. Secondly, I need to provide what exactly I want to extract by extract flag. Uh, 
So here I want to decrypt the file and extra extract the password for Redis. So when I know how to extract a specific value, then I can put it to my environment variable. So I set the output of this command uh, as value of my environment variable, and then I can use it. And that's it. There's a lot more stuff you can do with SOPs, of course, but my goal in this video was to introduce this tool to you. I hope I achieved that. Let me know if it was useful. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and see you soon.